Gate of Animals Snake, Earthworm and Snail Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get latest updates from learnfordafford.com Snake The structure of snake's body consists of a long backbone that runs from head to tail. The backbone, ribs and skin and interconnected by muscles. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. During movement, the muscles of snake's body form many loops pressed against the ground. Each loop gives a forward push to its body. With all loops, the push becomes significant with which the snake can move smoothly and rapidly over a surface with a twisting motion, particularly when the surface is rough. However, on smooth surface, the muscles does not get good grip and so it becomes difficult for snake to move. Though snake move in forward direction, however, it moves in twisting or zigzag line but not in straight line. Earthworm The body of earthworm consists of two sets of muscles. The circular muscles forming ring structure of earthworm and longitudinal muscles joining these rings to form long body shape. Its body does not have bones. There are hair like structures on its body which are called bristles. Bristles help earthworm to fix its body part to ground. During movement, Earthworm fix its end part to ground with the help of bristles. It contracts the circular muscles in front body part which causes elongation of its longitudinal muscles. The front part moves ahead. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. It then fix the front part and releases the end part. Now, the circular part relaxes so that it becomes wider. Because of this, the elongation decreases and rest of the body, including end, get pushed forward. Earthworm is called farmer's best friend. This is because during motion into the soil, it eats the soil coming in its way and throws away the undigested part. More importantly, it makes tiny tubes through the soil which makes soil more useful for plant growth. Snail A snail is a slow moving animal. It has a shell which protects the snail from weather and enemies. The shell is not made of bones. The tentacles are the flexible limbs on its body which bear eyes. The shell does not help the snail for movement. For movement, it uses a long thick muscular organ called foot. The foot produces wet, sticky substance called mucus. It makes the surface smooth so that the snail can glide over the surface. The muscular foot produces wave-like movements with which the snail gets pushed forward. So I hope you understood this topic very well. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe learnfordafford.com and press the bell icon to never miss an updates from learnfordafford.com.